do you ever use original leg or should we avoid it like we should avoid using leg in general? Okay, good question. Original leg. What is original leg? Is it the same as leg? Is it different? All right, I'm going to flip over P6. Let's talk about it. All right, so original leg is actually a column on the resource tab. So it's a resource column. Okay, now here's what I'm going to show you. This is kind of weird, but let me add a couple columns up here for you, okay? And where's my original duration? Let me put lag. Yeah, just the way I had it, right like that. Okay, so there we go. Preliminary one looks good. Okay. So this may sound weird, but when you assign a resource to an activity, typically you would, you know, the, the activity has a start date and a finish date, and you would say the resource has to work the entire time from, from the start date to the end date. But because P6 is so very flexible, it doesn't have to be that way. As you can see here, I put a start and a finish column. And it's possible to um, have a resource work a smaller portion of the, the entire duration of the activity. So for example, this is a 14-day activity. You could um, start this resource i know this is a cost client let's use somebody else spencer design you know they could start um on the 11th and work until the 22nd so their uh duration is only 10 days of the entire 14 days and you see what happened original leg showed up there so it's possible to truncate how much a resource is going to be working during the, the entire course of the activity. Original leg uh, is used to help you sort of maneuver where the start date and the finish date is. And if you come in here, uh, actually, if I just go in here and turn on the hint help, you can see the little explanation. The planned time lag between the activities planned start date, the resources start date, okay? So you can use original leg along with a shortened original duration to create those kinds of situations so again you know let's say he's only working up seven days of the 14 you can specify a seven day delay so he would work the back um well that's not working but uh he could work the back half instead of the front half if you want now you'll also see that now this date here is outside the finish date of the activity. So the activity finishes on July 25th. Um, it's possible to expand outside the finish date of the activity. Okay. Notice that the, the activity sometimes is picks up that date, but it doesn't have to um, based on this drive activity dates. If you want to check this, then this start and finish dates of the activity are no longer driven by the start and finish dates of the resource. Okay. So that's about as far as I want to take it. Um, but you can use that original leg to help you adjust when a resource is working on an activity. In my opinion, this is not a great feature. This is not something that I like to do uh, or to use. Um, there's too many things happening here that uh, become mysterious. Let me say, for example, even just unchecking drive activity dates for one act, one resource and then having it checked on for a bunch for a bunch can get confusing. You might create weird things that you don't know what's happening. So most of the time when we assign a resource, we expect that resource to work the entire duration of the activity. I'm not saying there aren't exceptions, but most of the time we keep it simple and straightforward and the fanciness of P6 here doesn't really give us a huge advantage. I would not recommend it to level resources, no. Um, resource leveling is typically done by you know adding additional logic. So if you have two 
two resources or one resource that's doing two activities at the same time, you need to move one of those activities. You pick the one that's got float and you sort of move it using logic. That's the best way to do it. Hey, Evan from Plan Academy here. Hope you liked that video. If you did, feel free to give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate it. Also, you can subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you stay in the loop. Speaking of staying in the loop, you checked out our website, planacademy.com. If you wanna check that out, it's right here at the end of all of our videos. Of course, you can just keep watching. See you in the next one.